Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Affairs of Two Needles, episode 10. Can't believe it's 10 already. Um, I'm Jody. I'm your yarn host. Just wanted to stop out in and say hi to all my yarn lovelies. Um, it's such a beautiful morning out this morning. I thought I'd film a little bit this morning um, outside before it gets too hot. I wanted to go ho go over my uh, Mary Maxim haul on my yarn and my um, crochet club that I got. Um, really neat pieces this time. So first of all, if you like this video, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit that little dingling bell up there um, to get the notifications when I do um, put them out. I'm going to try to put out some videos. Um, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday if I can. Um, so yeah, um, try to get you guys more information in. I thought I'd do a few different things. Maybe take some um, trips to some yarn shops. Uh, we don't have very many local yarn shops, but we can go through Joann's wherever. Check out all the different new yarns coming through um, and supplies. So anyway, last night I started working on a Mary Maxim project that I really like. Um, it's a sweater. I thought it was going to be a complicated pattern. Actually, the pattern's pretty easy. And the pattern that I got was from, I think it was last month. It was the June's Mary Maxim. And it's a sweater. So I'm going to bring that up and show you and show you the yarn. The yarn is a little bit different. Um, it's it going to be a lacy sweater. But that's the first thing I wanted to show you. Um, this is the yarn that I got, and I'm going to show you the pattern here. But this is the pattern that we got right here. And it's you know, pretty, the Mary Maxim sweater. And that's the knitting. So we're going to knit this. And you do it in two pieces. So it looks like... It's a beginner, so it's pretty easy. And they have all the sizes. What I like about this, too, is they have all the sizes marked out for you in different colors. Can you see that? So all you need to do is when you cast one, you figure out the size that you are, and then you go ahead and cast one in the color down here, the amount of um, stitches that you're going to need when you cast on your, your knitting. So this is the back of it. Um, very easy. I started it last night. Not complicated at all. Hope you don't mind my microphone sitting here. Everything's pink for me now. For all of a sudden, I love pink. I don't know why that is. Um, so yeah, so the very first, um, this is what we're doing here. So what you do is you just knit this part here. This is going to be the bottom. I'm doing it in like extra large. I'm not quite sure... Um, if this is going to be for me or for somebody else, but this isn't going to be an extra large and then you're going to just knit this portion here and then up here all it is is purl on knit, actually one row's knit, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then the second row is purl one and then yarn over, purl one, or purl two together. That's all it is basically, so you're going to knit one yarn over, knit two together, you know, yarn o or knit one, yarn over, and that's all you do on the first row. Second you know, row is the same, but only you're purling. See, that's what the, you're going to get that lacy effect right there. Really nice. The yarn that I'm using in this kit, you get three balls of it. And this is the yarn. It sort of reminds me of a rope yarn, but it's not. It's a sweater yarn. It's really pretty. And I'm going to tell you what the colors are right here. We'll open this pack up so we can see. I just throw them right here in my little plastic container that it came in anyway. But it looks like it's called the Yarn It's by Yarn Inspirations. It's Caron. It's the Cotton Funnel Cakes. That's what it is right there, if you can see it. Um, it's called Dandelion Seed, which is pretty. It's a meat, it's a four medium. Um, and you're going to get 250 grams, which is funny, 425 yards in this. So it's machine washable and dryable. So really nice. It's pretty. But these are the colors that they give you in it. And I think it's going to be a really pretty sweater once I'm done with it. And here again in this kit, with, which was the June kit, 
you get three three balls of yarns in that. Um, really nice. So I started that last night as I was watching the series The Chosen, which I absolutely love. So um, I like The Chosen show a lot. And then, of course, I downloaded the movie. The, um, I actually didn't download it. I ended up buying the Disney movie. I ended up buying The Little Mermaid, so I wanted to check that out. So if anybody has seen The Little Mermaid, let me know. If you liked it or not, go ahead and leave a comment. So that's, with the, that's the sweater that I'll be doing. I think, I'm not sure what it's called. The Summer Days Knit Tee, it's called. But I thought it was really pretty. Here I go back and forth from saying one thing to another. My mind goes quickly. It keeps thinking up all kinds of things. So my mind goes quicker than I talk sometimes. <laughs> and then, of course, the other one I got in June, I believe, was the um, Daybreak Poncho. I think the colors in this is really pretty. Now, this is the crochet kit. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the pattern this this one. I promised you guys that I'll show you the patterns of the new of these that I gotten and I got them. So the Daybreak Poncho is really pretty. It says it fits most ladies, so we'll see. But how pretty is that? And there it is. The arms. Now I haven't started this one yet. Um, we'll see. I took the yarn out and I played around with the yarn a little bit. So we'll see what that's like. Um, this one actually, it's crochet. Um, they want you to use a 10, um, a 15 hook, an N15 hook or 10 millimeters um, is what they want you to do. And it looks like it's just very lacy. There's a lot of, a lot of directions. It's like a book here. So, well, not really like a book, but close to it. I'm sure that there's a lot of repeats in there that you got to do. They say it's the skill level of easy, but we'll, we'll see. We will see when I start working on that with the daybreak. But this is the yarn that they give you. The yarn is very pretty. It's nice and soft. It's called Twisted, Mary Maximus Twisted yarn. 100% premium acrylic it says right there. And the color of this one is called um, doesn't really say, just says dye lot. I'm going to say it's sassy because they do have, down here, they have it as sassy right here. So we're going to call this color sassy. It does look sassy. It's very nice and soft. Really like it. It says machine wash in cold water and lay flat to dry. And it's a bulky five. If anybody has an Addy machine, let me know in comments how the, the fives, the bulkies, work in there. Um, I know my mom says some of the bulkies don't work in her Addy. Um, some of them do. It just depends. But how pretty is that yarn? I just love it. And it's so soft and squishy. That's going to make a really nice poncho. Real nice. Listen to those bugs. Or should I say the cicadas. It sounds so pretty. This is my favorite time of year. It's when all of the, the sounds of summer start coming out. I love it. Ever since I was a little girl, I liked this. So that's the other June kit that I got. So just wanted to give you an update on that. And I love how Mary Maximus um, sends them too. I like these little containers because what I do is I use these for my finished projects. And then regardless what I'm crocheting, some of them are real big, some of them not so big. But if I'm doing something very small, you can put your finished crochet product in that. And that way then it doesn't get dusty or dirty, which is a good thing. You're going to hear a helicopter go by. We have not too far away from here. In Hershey, we have the Gap. And they always fly by the, my backyard. So... It's beautiful out here today guys I can't say enough how pretty after all the rain that we've been having it's beautiful yep there are two uh, two army helicopters flying by so the going down towards the river I guess probably gonna do some drills they normally do now this month 
I'm going to show you this month's. I don't know why they're sending us ponchos and, and sweaters. I guess because they're getting ready for winter and fall to come, which I can't blame them. But I can't really knit and crochet that fast. So <laughs> I'm working on it. Between the afghans that I'm doing, the baby blankets that I'm doing, and I think these are going to sit for a little bit. I may not get to them for a while. Now this one here is the Mary Maxim Granny Square Top. This was July's. This is July's right here. Really nice. Now they say that's a little bit of an intermediate. And I think to me that's going to be a little bit of an intermediate. So we'll see how that works. The sizes, I think you saw the sizes on there go from extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, 2, 3x, and 4, and 5x which is good. Here again the directions. So this one here is crocheting. Um, they want you to use an H8 or a 5 millimeter. A lot of instructions with this one. So this is what it's going to look like. The, this is what the pattern looks like. So those of you that read patterns, I don't know if you do, I do. I don't have an issue reading patterns. Sometimes some of the patterns that I read can be a little bit um, messed up. Sometimes the patterns can be not written correctly. So I have to go through and um, basically pick them apart. And then sometimes I'm ripping stuff out and redoing it again. Um, but Mary Maxim is pretty good. If you find a mistake, you can go ahead and send them the mistake issue to them and then they'll send you a correction out. I don't know if they contact the company that sends it or not. I have no clue. But I've seen that happen already. But the yarn is really neat with this one here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the yarn. Um, you're going to get, this is what they're giving us. And I'm going to go ahead and show you here in this one. It's a recycle polyester blend. It's by Lion Brand. You're going to get 262 in a yard. It's polyester, acrylic, and cotton, and it's a lightweight three. The color on this is called wood smoke. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I love this yarn. It's soft, and it's real thin. So this does not look like a three weight to me. I don't know. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that a three weight to you? Don't mind my nail polish. I need another manicure. It's chipping. So, does that look like a three weight to you? Sometimes, you know, it depends. Not all weights are the same. So, I've seen one, you know, ones and ones that were like this size. So, it just depends. But that, that could be. We'll go ahead and, I bet this will do really good in a natty if somebody has a natty. So, I think all the colors in that, yeah, all the colors are going to be the wood smoke. So, they give you three. And wait, let's see what this one is. This one here, is this one a wood smoke? This one looks a little bit lighter to me. I think it is. Yeah, this one's called Pebble. So this one here is a pebble. Let's take one out so you can see the pebble. But you're going to get four, <clears throat> excuse me, four of the wood smoke. And then you're going to get three of the, the pebble. Let's take a look at the pebble. The pebble is the same weight, same type of brand. So, same type of brand, and it's called Pebble. That one's really pretty, too. Really nice. It's like a little tweed. Really nice yarn, too. Nice and soft. So, these are going to be really nice and soft. So, hold on. I'll be right back, okay? Right back. I had to let my puppy out so sorry about that sometimes she gets a little bit too hot sitting out here with me and she wanted to go in I guess I had her to the vet this morning she hasn't been feeling good my pinky she's um she just turned 13 she's gonna be 14 in September and she just lost her her little buddy my little cocker spaniel I had him for 13 years and he just passed away in January so she doesn't know what to do with herself um, she's clingy to me, 
So I just had her to the vet today and they say she's in great spirits and good health, so that's a good thing. But I do have to cook her food because it seems like she has food allergies, so I don't have a problem with that. Like I said, I love cooking, so I don't mind cooking for my animals. They are my children. So in my house, I don't know if you noticed, I have a cat too. I have a few cats and I also have a bunny. So, love them. Well, the next one is going to be a knit. And this one here is the July one also. It's a knit apron and dish cloths. This will be a really nice Christmas gift for somebody. Um, and I like the colors and I like the yarn in this one. This one's knit, and it looks like it might go pretty quickly. Um, it's also an intermediate, so that's what it looks like there. Knit, intermediate, and this is the pattern here. It looks like it's going to be using size um, U.S. size 2.5 or 3 millimeter needles, knitting needles. So, and then this is what the pattern on the inside looks like. Going with this one. Now the yarn, let's take a look at the yarn. They give you one, two, three, four, five colors of the same and one pink one. Isn't the pink pretty? I don't know why I'm so into pink, but pink is pretty. So this one here, it's, I'm not quite sure This one doesn't even give you a color. Um, I'm just going to call it pink. But unless you can read this, if you guys can read that, you're probably seeing it a little bit backwards here. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can or not. But, yep. This is what the pink looks like. I'm not sure. I think this is not in English, so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> what you're going to get. It looks like 600 grams, so I'm not sure how much is in here. Doesn't look too bad. Um, but it's nice and soft. It's a Nova. I have a shawl, shawl yarn like this in different colors. But, and then here you got the lighter. Looks like a light brown or a tan color. Really pretty. Looks like it's cotton now. So, really pretty. And this one here is the same in the back. So, these are the Mary Maxim kits that I promised that I would go ahead and, and show you. Um, I was excited because I didn't want to let you hang on the um, June, uh, June and July kits. I'm pretty excited. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to go ahead and do some of these kits. Um, some of them I may end up working on soon, some of them not so much. Um, probably just sit. You never know, I could be doing them, I could be getting them and then just having them sit until next year. <laughs> but it depends on, you know, Christmas is coming up, holidays are coming up, birthdays are coming up. So hopefully I can get some of those out. Um, anyway. That's just what I wanted to show you. I wanted to get on here and then, and see if and just let you know that I'm going to go ahead and try to do some videos at least three times a week, if not two, um, and um, you know start showing you a few different things. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I thank you for taking your time out and watching this video today. Hope it wasn't too boring for you. Um, I'm excited about getting some of these kits started. Um, let me know if you do if you do the Mary Maxim kits, regardless what kit it is. Let me know in comments what you do. I'd like to know. Um, and everybody, have a great day. Um, enjoy this beautiful weather out here. It is so gorgeous, and the birds are singing, and finally no rain for a while. So just enjoy and be blessed. And always keep those needles in the air and those hooks in the yarn. Okay, and then I will see you on the next one. See ya.